Well, as a fifth generation farmer, Henry County's Jay Carter has made it his personal mission to share his knowledge of agriculture with both consumers and aspiring young farmers. In fact, he was once quoted as saying, we need to put a face on farming and show people what we do, how we do it, and why. His passion for the industry, one of the many reasons why in 2014, Carter was elected the American Farm Bureau's National Young Farmers and Ranchers Committee Chair. Well, having completed his one-year term this past February, recently Jake shared with the monitor his experiences as the National Committee Chair and what it's like to once again be a full-time farmer and a full-time husband and father. For a God-fearing family man like Jake Carter, 80 days on the road, away from the family and away from the farm, was at times a tough pill to swallow. But they were sacrifices Jake was willing to make for the better good of agriculture and to educate the young up-and-coming farmers of America. Nowadays, the only road Jake is required to travel is the dirt road leading to his fields. Being here on this farm, that's that's home. That's where I'm comfortable. That's my comfort zone. Uh, but I, I, it was good for me this year to get, step outside my comfort zone and uh, get out there and meet new people and see new places and uh, get to do things I never thought I'd get to do. I was very proud, very humbled, um, just very excited for Jake, just the opportunity that he was taking and um, the, the things that he was doing while he was on the road. The girls and I prayed for him every night and his safety and, and I made sure that they knew that he was doing a good thing that was temporary but it was a rewarding for our family and our farm. So um, it's emotional thinking about it but we're excited for him. We were, we were glad for all that he did for the Farm Bureau. And boy did he do a lot. As only the third Georgia farmer ever to be elected to the position, Jake not only shared his wealth of knowledge about the ag industry, he also led by example. A dream come true, according to Carter, whose many objectives included being able to represent Georgia on a bigger scale. You know, I think uh, being in Farm Bureau, we always hear about the grassroots structure, the grassroots organization, and um, being in other parts of the country, it just really brought that to light to see how other uh, states uh, how their farm bureaus run and how they um, react to the, the situations that are happening that are specific to them. Uh, it's really neat to learn about uh, how other farm bureaus work. And make no mistake about it, his knack for connecting with farm bureau members, another example of why many see Jake as a future leader in the organization. The personality and charisma was certainly on display during February's AFBF Fusion Conference in Nashville. This jersey used to fit a little better than this. It <laughs> I'm just going to throw that out there in case you were wondering. I look fat and out of shape I am. We've got young people saying, yes, yes, I will talk to a consumer about how my crops are grown. Put me in coach. I'm ready to play. You know, dealing with the public is something that we do here on our farm. And uh, talking to people and just interacting is something that, um, to be honest with you, I'm a shy person. Uh, when it comes down to it, I'm a, I feel like I'm a personable guy. but. Uh, but really interacting with people is something that I've really um, grown to love over the years. And, um, you know, that, that night when I gave my speech, it was just a, uh, just a real humbling experience. Just kind of like everything that I learned and, uh, and grew to uh, watch how other people react. And just, it was just a really neat experience. We got a lot of young collegiate uh, Farm Bureau members coming through the ranks. And it's so exciting to see uh, Georgia uh, stepping up and uh, getting down there at ABAC and starting that collegiate chapter. And from what I hear, they're just thrilled and excited and looking forward to that next step there. And that's one of the things that I saw um, as I traveled the country this year is, is a lot of excitement and enthusiasm from our younger uh, young farmer members. However, having fulfilled his duties as the YFNR National Chair, it's back to doing what Jake does best, and that's being a father and husband. Today I just went to donuts for dad with my little girl at her school and stuff like that. I mean, I just really uh, look forward to being here and being home and, and pray, playing the role as a, as a father and a, and a husband. Just seeing him do that and how hard of a worker he is. Some days it's frustrating um, that I never see him, but the reward that it's bringing us, that it's bringing this farm, it's, it's worth it. 